Hello, I'm Jess and I'm here with my business, Gaboom. I'm looking for £60,000 investment in return for an 11% share in the business. Gaboom is an online user-to-user -user video game exchange. I first came up with the idea of creating a website where people could swap their games when I was 15, but didn't quite manage to get the website off the ground using pretty much my pocket money. Whilst at university this year, I came across resources designed to help people look at their business ideas. And I realised that there was not only a market for my idea, but a need, as video games can be prohibitively expensive, costing on average between 40 to 80 pounds. I discovered that 55% of the UK's population plays video games, of which 12.4 million people play second-hand video games. Gaboom aims to provide people with a website where they can buy, sell and swap their games with other users. Gaboom provides exact search results quicker than any other website. Our system automatically matches users based on the games that they wish to swap, sell or buy so that they can agree a swap or sale. Thank you for listening. I welcome any questions. Jessica Radcliffe has delivered a succinct and professional pitch as she asks for a £60,000 investment in her new online game exchange business. In return, she's willing to give away a precise 11%. Duncan Bannatyne is intrigued. Hi, Jess. Hello. So, how do you make money from this? Okay. Um, we offer, on our core features, two secure and insured postage options, which we monetize. The first is called the Gaboom Escrow, and we charge £2 for this service. We will make 92p if they pay by credit card, and £1.18 if they pay by debit. The second option is called the Gaboom Secure Swap, which is where users send their games to me as a middleman. I check their condition before sending them on. And with a secure swap, we charge £4.40 per user, and we will make £1.44 if they pay by debit card, and £1.52 if, sorry, yes, 52 if they pay by credit card. You said this is something faster than any other website? Yes, provides exact search results. How, how do you analyse it's faster than any other website? We have developed a piece of proprietary technology which is called our automatic user matching system. And the way it works is that users enter the games that they want and they also enter the games that they own. They then hit a match me button and brought to their screen the exact matches that they can either trade with or sell to buy from. It's, it's only faster at analysing which games people want to sell or want to swap. Yes. So probably no one else just has a website like this. So, although you're the fastest, you're probably the only one. Uh, yes, that's correct. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Very funny and very good. An assured start from the budding businesswoman. James Kahn wants to know more about this unusual sounding website. Jess, where did you get the name from? Um, when I started university this year, and I took Which up... Which university are you at? Royal Holloway University. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm pausing my degree to do Gaboom full-time. So you're not going back? Um, no, I, I might go back. It depends on but how things But at the moment, go. you've decided to stop? Yes. OK, so go back to Gaboom. OK, so with Gaboom, I kind of thought... I looked at the trends of the most popular websites, and they all tend to be kind of made-up words and singular singular words. So I then thought of games and boom is in an opposite of the recession and just match them together really. And how are you going to market this because ultimately Jess the make or break of this business yes. will come down to marketing. Yes. We're looking to run social media applications. We also were looking or we were in preliminary discussions with partnering with the two largest gaming social networking sites in the world in our reciprocal GameSpot and IGN. Jessica's plans to align her business with other sites is a common online strategy. But will it impress marketing expert Deborah Meaden? How big is IGN? IGN tell, tell, give me an idea of the scale sure. of their operation. IGN attracts 3 million users in the UK alone. Yep. GameSpot attracts 4.9 million users a month. 
in the yeah. UK alone. And what do they do, these users? OK, for example, I would go there if I'm playing a game and I've got stuck, so I want a hint or a cheat, I could then go and find that out. I could look for the new releases that are coming out, so to see what games I want to buy next. And what other product do their site sell? Advertising space. So, that's so they've got affiliate banner advertising. Yes, They'll run correct. some kind of affiliate scheme. Is that what you're talking about doing with them? Yes, we're talking about running an advertising campaign as well as implementing our Gaboom button. For example, if I show this game, it will sit next to them here. And you can then click the button, it will add this game to your wish list and take you through to the Gaboon website. OK, and why would I... I mean, I quite like that bit of it, but that feels to me like you've got an extremely targeted audience. Yes, definitely. So where are you in those negotiations? No contract has been sorted or anything, as we literally met with both of them yesterday. The sure-footed entrepreneur is handling the Dragon's cross-examination well, but she's yet to receive an offer. Peter Jones knows this market well. Hi, Jess. Hi. Peter. Um, I've been involved in the business and we, we trialled this. Um, and it was really, really, really difficult. The issue that you have is that the cost of processing swapped games and you're so right when you said that you have to physically inspect the product before it goes on. I can assure you that the cost of that, as you scale a business up, is enormous. I have tried two or three different types of businesses to really try and get that logistical process down in terms of its cost. And um, it hasn't happened yet. OK. So I'm not going to invest today on the basis that I can't see that this would ever make a really ser serious return. OK. And that's the reason why I'm out. It's a devastating analysis, and Jessica loses her first dragon. James Kahn is now ready to show his hand. Jess, let me tell you where I am. I think it's a bit too early stage for me. OK. I think the, the actual business model itself, um, I think you probably need to look at them again. Okay. I think the point that Peter made, I think it was quite a key one. OK. Because if that bit doesn't work everything else yes. is irrelevant okay but i will say jess i was incredibly impressed with you so well done thank you but i'm out okay jess i'm going to tell you where i am okay what i sense from you is that you're you are good and you've definitely got it the trouble is i don't think this is it okay so I expect we'll see you at some... Might even be sitting in one of these chairs one day. <laughs> but um, I'm afraid I'm not investing on this one. Thank you very but much. I'm out. Thank you. High praise, but still no cash. Will Theo Pafitis throw Jessica the financial lifeline she badly needs? What have you valued this business at? £545,000. Why? It's based on our reasonable assumptions for growth, and over the next three years, we aim to capture just 0.7% to generate but, but, the but revenue. So, so, so can I give you the money when you hit those figures, then? Yes, OK. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you actually achieve your profit figures, I can knock on your doors and say, Jess, here's the 60,000, give me the 11%. We've got a deal. Um, well, if we achieve the profit, I'm hoping that we won't then need exactly. the investment. Exactly. And you're committing one of the cardinal sins, web-based businesses, to have a, a great USP where you don't touch things. OK. So you put people together, you earn money, you don't touch things. By handling all those games, you're now mixing the two, so physical and virtual. That's going to cause you a lot of problems. OK. As for you, if you don't make it this time, I'm pretty certain you'll make it at some time. But it's not for me, so I'm going to be saying I'm out. That's great. Thank you. That just leaves me, Jess. Um, I'm, as you know, a very successful businessman. I've got a great life. I've got a fantastic family. I didn't go to university. I didn't go to college. I left home at 15 and a quarter. I joined the Royal Navy. But I know the older I get, I miss something by not going to college or university. And I wish I had. OK. You've got another 80 or 100 years to be in business. You don't have to take over the world in business today. Go back, do your university career, please. 
And so I'm out. Thank you. Good luck, Thank Jess. You very Jess, much. can I say one thing? Uh, if there comes a time when you want to work for an organisation in the online space that is worldwide, send me an email. OK, thank you. Thanks, Jess. OK, thank you. No investment for Jessica, but a potential job offer and the rare sound of admiration from all five dragons.